dad brought our first trip in 1996 to Costa Rica. And one of the things that was on the itinerary that we wanted to do was a day of sustainable living where we could hike through the rainforest, pitch our tents on the beach, maybe eat a banana, catch a fish, and leave the next day. And when we were there over this Thanksgiving weekend, one of the guides that were showing us the area said, I have a great place. And he took us by boat and we landed at Punta Mona. And that was our first experience. We walked up and there was a Afro-Caribbean man. His name was Patty. He was the only inhabitant of Punta Mona, you know, that was left. At one time, it was an Afro-Caribbean village. And as the road came and as Puerto Viejo got more developed, they left because it was off the grid. You couldn't get there. You either walked in for two hours or went by boat for 25 minutes. So we landed there and Patty was picking pigeon peas and we walked up to him and he didn't even acknowledge us until we got within five feet of him. We started talking to him and Stephen in his very excited way, he says, Patty, he said, we'd love to bring groups here. Maybe you could fish for us and we could pitch our tents on your beach and, you know, maybe we could eat some of your bananas, he says. And Patty, of, of course, we'll pay you. And Patty called Stephen boy. To the day he died, he called Stephen Boy, he called me dad. <laughs> he, you know, and this has got to remember, this is our first introduction to Punta Mona. We're not there 10 minutes. And Patty looks at Stephen and he says, boy, if you give me money, there are people who come and kill me for my money. They'll never kill me for my friends. Pretty, pretty powerful. Our introduction to this wilderness, really. I mean, Patty was getting his drinking water by collecting it in 50-gallon drums and of course, he had an outhouse, and his lighting was kerosene lanterns. So it was really out there. It was the jungle. And he said, yeah, bring me a group. So in March of the following year, or April of the following, 1996, we brought 19 students, and it was magical. It was really just a magical experience. And Stephen was great at it.